Okay, here we go. Background noise is just a plus this time. This is going to make a dry box, like for drying uh, models with glue. I'm going to try it on paint. Who knows? This is a concept I completely understand with glue. Paint, I guess if you do thin layers, it'd be all right. It's not high heat or anything. Super simple. You need a box. This is an old Dell box. So I got a computer in at one point. I'm uh, kind of a box pack rat. Anybody watches this channel knows that. There is a cheap hair dryer. This is a Remington. And some tape. And here I am digging around like an idiot for the knife. There it is. That is just a fancy dancy cardboard cutting utility knife. Any of them work. It doesn't matter. It could be your hobby knife. It's just, you know, whatever. So you get a box that's big enough. And then I cut off the flaps. Oh, look. And I'm not going to edit this video at all. I just threw it together. <clears throat> Somebody was talking on one of uh, my whatevers about how you uh, dry stuff faster. And I thought, well, this is a problem I always have. And I know how to fix it. So I'm just going to do it. Oh yeah, I'm cutting off the flaps, and uh, I should probably edit this video, but I'm not going to, because, you know, you might as well see that I'm an idiot. Da, 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 da. Oh, look, I did a crappy job. Look at that. Wow, look at this idiot. Okay. Now we go cut a hole in one corner. Of course, I did it off camera, which means it was amazing work. This was uh, the work of angels. Coming down and singing and doing all this because I cut a square hole poorly. I mean, perfectly off camera. I guess only part or partially off camera. I did shoot this on my uh, cell phone, like with no anything. I just did it just real quick. Just next step. The whole build. No editing, no nothing. I just trashed through away. And da 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 I'm just going to kind of mark out a square about the end of the thing and cut it. And this does not require any measurement if you build your own. It just requires the stuff. <clears throat> okay. So, break that out. Jam that in there. Yeah. I'm going to hold that. No, look. I think it's going to hold. Look. Look, I'm, I'm probably done with the knife because I think that that'll work for now. So I put it up. And then I go, it'll sit in there. No, I set it down. And out of camera, it just falls out. Because, you know, gravity and whatnot. You can go way further in this. And so I decide, oh, yeah, I better cut some vent holes for heat. Even though I'm going to use it on super low setting. just want to cut some vents at the top so the heat doesn't build up. You're not trying to bake stuff, you just want to try it. Cut, cut, cut. And, you know, they're, there's a perfect design to this, and that's why they're different sizes. It's not just because you just do it and throw it together, and it's fine. There we go. And I think I'm done with my knife again. But I'm not. Because... It's not going to hold. How will we fix this? Oh, I have tape. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got tape. Yeah, well, tape. Tape will work. Tape it. And I put it on low and low because I'm not going to be able to turn it off and on while it's attached to the box. <sighs> Which, you know, the only reason I, you have a hair dryer, or most most dudes have a hair dryer, or whatever. People in this hobby have a hair dryer to dry paint, or glue, or whatever. Just speed up drying process. Cut us a strip of cardboard. We can just pop it over. Follow the line on the other side and cut through it. Oh, this is super high-tech stuff. This is cutting-edge technology. I think I'm actually done with the knife now. And I just and this is just because I don't want to build up a bunch of tape on the uh, hair dryer and whatnot. Because I will take it off here. This is just a whatever. So for now, fix it because I'm waiting on a big pile of glue to dry and you know how that goes so here we go okay let's get some tape undo it and it's all stuck together i did have a flap on there but i will screw it up because uh, the last person that used it was an idiot okay tear it you can use any kind of tape you have 
even electrical tape, scotch tape, doesn't matter, I just have a buttload of this backing tape, because I bought a case of it a long time ago, long story there, but yeah, I'm just putting on some tape here to hold it in place, to do the next little thing, you can get all fancy and like, cut it to fit and make it so you can slide your uh, whatever in and out, but this was a three minute video or whatever, which wound up being a ten minute video, but it was supposed to be just throw it together, this is how you do it. Just do this and you'll be fine. Uh, this should work on paint, of course, and you could always just uh, use a fan. And if you're not worried, if you're not wanting heat, the same idea. The whole idea is it creates a vortex effect. And then just wrap tape all the way around it instead of being fancy and cutting slits or any of that stuff. Just wrap it all the way around it. And like, you know, the extra holes don't really matter. But. You put your inflow at the top and your outflow at the bottom on the same side, and the uh, air will just go. You get all fancy. You cut baffles in it. You could whatever to control the airflow, but uh, we're not gonna do all that. We're just literally gonna. That's it. There it is. It's a box. And here in just a second, I'm gonna pick it up, and show you. Look, it's a box. It's super duper fancy done oh look there's the pile of glue i need to dry it's glue and sand and whatnot and stuff anyway oh look oh look at there look it fits sort of on my table there's a bunch of crap on my table i gotta move around but there we go we move the camera a little closer we bump it a whole bunch because we're idiots and yeah, so there's a beautiful shot of an upside down Dell box. And here's look, making sure the thing works and trying to move the. Yep, oh no, can't do it with one hand because you're an idiot. Oh, I got it. Oh, look, look, it's on. You can't hear it, but it's going. Ooh, you can probably hear it here through this because it's still going. Ooh, and you can see it. Okay, look, it's, it's on something. I gotta move my glue gun, of course. I gotta move that. No, 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 no. Here's the. Yeah, I was talking. There's some crap I built in the background and all this stuff going on. And here's my little attic corner of junk that I'm making and whatnot in my work area. And let's bump the camera and shake it around a little bit. And here's a second. Oh, look. The camera swoop. It's the super schmoople, wonderful swoop. It just looks. Um, 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 amazing and this box as you can see was pretty beat up when I used it so don't do that use a pristine perfect box you could even buy like a tote and do the same thing and see I'm making sure there's it's not getting hot and there's no whatever I have it on low heat you could do it on no heat you could just use a fan you could get it fancy and you could buy like a computer cooling fan and do the same thing if you were to do this and use like a tote you could put put it right side up and put a lid on top that'd be the same thing look here we go we're cutting super little magic whatever so my super uh whatever scissors that are supposed to cut little thingies and you can kind of see that there's a little bit of airflow through there which is what we want we don't want a lot because we don't want to blow crap all over here i'll cut another thing because i don't know why but i didn't have any ribbon or i didn't want to get out any ribbon let's be honest and you can see a little tiny bit of airflow Oh, look, the visual representation of wind. It's amazing. Looky, looky. Oh, there it is. Yep, there's all the junk on my desk that's always below the camera. Oh, and there's not much airflow there, but there's a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, it's a stupid idea, but it's simple and it works. Like, subscribe, share, whatever. Call me an idiot. Don't, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's cool. So here we go. Look, it's this is it. It's a super secret me method that, like, nobody knows about how you dry paint in uh, the industrial world, except it's a whole room that does this. And it just bounces around in the box and comes out of the hole, and you want to do it on the same side so you have a vortex airflow. But here it is, and I'm hoping that this helps me speed up drying things so the videos don't take so long to film. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Yada blah ba doodle.